Whether you're an experienced engineer or a hobbyist looking to try your hand at your first robotics project, you're going to need a variety of tools. The term tools applies to any device that helps you accomplish a job or task and can range from basic hand tools such as hammers and screwdrivers all the way up to specialty tools such as milling machines or 3D printers. In this video we'll give you a brief overview of hand tools, power tools and specialty tools as well as offer suggestions for what tools you want to have in your collection before tackling your first robotics project. Hand tools serve a multitude of functions and come in an array of configurations according to their purpose. When deciding which hand tools you'll need, it's best to start by purchasing the ones you'll use most often. For entry-level robotic building, the tools you'll use most are screwdrivers, pliers, a ratchet and socket set, cutting tools such as a hacksaw, and measuring tools such as a tape measure and calipers. Screwdrivers come in two main configurations, a flathead and a Phillips or crosshead. They can be found in small, medium, and large head sizes in a variety of different lengths and handle types. Having a good set of screwdrivers is essential to your tool collection. Hammers are used for delivering impact to an object. This can mean driving nails into a block of wood, tapping parts into alignment, or using a punch to mark a hole for drilling. Ball peen hammers are used primarily for mechanical and engineering applications, claw hammers for pounding and removing nails, and sledge hammers for delivering some serious force. Other specialty hammers include rubber mallets and dead blows for when you want to avoid metal to metal contact. A good medium sized ball peen hammer is going to be ideal for your first robotics project. Pliers offer good gripping force for manipulating parts and holding objects in place while you work on them. A pair of standard and needle nose pliers are enough for most jobs, but certain applications call for specialty pliers, such as lineman's pliers or tongue and groove pliers. Needle nose pliers also provide a sharp cutting area for wires and other materials. If you're working on something that requires the use of both your hands, putting your work in a vise is a good alternative to pliers. Vices come in a range of sizes and prices, so pick one that fits your tool budget and make sure you secure it in a sturdy table or workbench. A hacksaw is essential for building your project. Common blade lengths are 10 and 12 inches, and you can get blades with different tips and pitch for different materials such as wood or metal. Changing a blade is as easy as loosening the adjuster screw and slipping the blade off the hacksaw body. A ratchet and socket set is used to turn nuts, bolts, and other fasteners. Ratchet sizes range from a small quarter inch drive all the way up to a very large three quarter inch drive. Sockets come in standard and metric varieties ranging from very small to very large. Before you start building anything, you'll need measuring tools to accurately mark, cut, and manipulate your work medium. Tape measures make it easy to measure long materials and are accurate up to a sixteenth of an inch. Combination squares let you measure angles and draw accurate lines. And for precision, calipers allow you to accurately measure things up to a thousandth of an inch. As the name implies, power tools are tools that use a power source other than your own manual labor. In our case, we'll be primarily talking about electric power tools, but most of these have a pneumatic or air equivalent if your shop or workspace is outfitted with an air compressor. A Dremel is probably the most common power tool used by engineers and hobbyists alike. The Dremel is an electric rotary tool that uses interchangeable tips ranging from cutting discs to drill bits. Dremels are versatile and affordable, making them a must-have for your tool collection. At some point, you're going to want to add holes to your project. To do this, you'll need a Dremel with a drill bit attached or a dedicated hand drill or drill press. Electric drills come in quarter and three-eighths chuck sizes. The term chuck refers to the area where the bit is inserted. Quarter inch is plenty for most applications, with three-eighths being more suitable for drilling larger materials or using larger bits. Drill bits can come in very large sizes, but for most basic robotics applications, quarter inch bits and smaller are ideal. Angle grinders are great for cutting and grinding metal. Angle grinders use a spinning wheel to get the job done, and you can use different wheels for different materials and uses. For example, this round wheel is used to cut metal, whereas this flap disc is used to grind things smooth. Similarly, bench grinders and sanders are used to manipulate a variety of materials, but instead of holding onto them, they are mounted to a bench, allowing you to use both your hands for extra precision. One alternative to an angle grinder is a miter saw or chop saw. These allow you to make straight or angled cuts into materials like PVC and metal tubing. You can get different blades for cutting different materials. 